The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, and I know many of you probably know this scripture by heart, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Pastor Ernest Paredes, and I'm excited to be with you today. I believe God has a word for you and me, not only give us some information, but perhaps some revelation with this word here that's coming forward. If you can get your Bibles and turn to Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 13. Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 13. And the Word of God reads like this. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, and long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Hallelujah. If there was a subject to this message, it would be called humility. Humility. If anyone knew humility was Christ himself. Here's the scriptures is telling us that uh, that we are the elected ones. We are Christians. We are to act uh, with uh, humility, kindness, meekness, long-suffering. Therefore, if anyone offended you or anyone done something to you, you have to forgive them. No matter what it is, you have to forgive them. Peter asked Jesus, uh, how many times should I forgive my brother or those that have done harm to me? And he says, 70 times 7 a day. That's a lot. That's a lot of forgiveness. and But yet he teaches us and tells us, uh, just like Christ and God forgave us, we have to forgive others. Uh, when you and, and that's really hard to do, especially when you've been hurt. Uh, John chapter 13, verses 1 through 17, uh, you've, you know the scriptures, you know that, that particular text, and it talks about Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. What I find interesting in this in this particular chapter, it was the Passover uh, uh, feast, and it was his last meal, and his time has come to go to the cross. When he got together with the disciples, he already knew, now hear this, he already knew that he was betrayed, he already knew that he was going to be denied, and he already knew that the disciples were going to abandon him. But yet, he took his other clothes out and he put on a rope around his waist, a towel, and he washed their feet. You hear what I'm saying? He washed their feet knowing the fact that he was going to be in a bad, bad situation. He knew up front that Judas was going to betray him. He knew up front that his disciples were going to abandon him. He knew up front that Peter was going to deny him. Now just Put those capital letters together. B, A, and D. Betray, abandon, and denied in a bad situation. Yet, he washed their feet as a servant. He knew who he was, and he was in humility, and he forgave them. So now, here's the revelation. Every You're, gonna, you're, you're probably in a bad situation. Some people probably have hurt you. Some people will probably abandoned you. Some people probably lied about you. Some people will betray you. But you still have to forgive and let go. Forgive and forget. Just let it go. And when you do that in the spirit, in your prayers, when you're forgiving someone that, that have done harm to you, in reality, you are washing their feet in the spirit. Oh, that's good right there. You need, you need to get that. You are washing their feet in the spirit when you have forgiven someone that has hurt you. Hallelujah. So, walk in humility. Walk in meekness. Walk in long-suffering. And when someone has done something to you, let it go. I guarantee you, when you learn to forgive, the windows of heaven opened up. Doors opened up. 
There's healing through forgiveness. Let me tell you again. There's healing through forgiveness. There's restoration through forgiveness. There's restoring through forgiveness. You have to forgive. Let it go. And God's got some blessings for you. Amen. Until next week, we see you then. God bless you. Bye-bye.